Data validation is used to restrict what values you can enter into a cell. This is useful if you don't want just random data being inputted, you want a certain data set. An example here is an inventory tracking system. We have a small example table here, items, status, quality, and user. And we want to put our options for status, quality, and users in a separate tab, and then have the options listed here. So for status, I want active, spare, not in use, quality, new, good, mediocre, poor, very old, and then the list of users, say, in our office. So put that there and then you want to highlight the range of cells and then go to the data tab data validation and you want to you can do multiple options whole number decimal list date time in this case i want to use a list of values put in equals and then go to the data tab highlight these values and press OK and then you'll see here you can either type in a value active or you can just use this drop down which is probably easier pick an option but what you can't do is something like that because it doesn't match and it will give you an error Cancel and enter in a another value. Then you can keep going. Just enter some values there. And then we can do the same thing for quality. Data validation. List equals. Go to the data tab. Highlight the values and press OK. And then you can also customize the data validation to, you can ignore blanks, which is usually what you want to do. Um, you can also put a message when the cell is selected. So I don't know, you can put like quality and input a quality. Probably not useful here because it's pretty clear. And you can also specify an error after invalid data is entered. You can warning, informational, or stop. Um, you can put like invalid quality. Please input put a correct value, something like that, press OK. And if you click on here, it will show the uh, input message. And if you put a value not in the range, you will get your custom error message, invalid quality, then you can retry put good and then that will work then if you want to remove the data validation you simply press clear all here and then you can type in whatever value you want